All right, guys, I'm back again. We're going to practice um, again with the Loomis method. Um, I want to explain something that uh, a lot of people use the Loomis method and uh, some of them, they do it wrong and some of them, they um, do it differently. Now, I always go with the access when I do the circle, I go, um, I think it's more important to start the access line, meaning the vertical line. And let me explain something. This is something that we're going to go through. Hopefully I'll have time because I got to work tonight. So I'm going to show you several ways most people would start when it comes to the Loomis method. And of course, when they do the front view, they always start with the center line. But I noticed that a lot of people, when they do the three-quarter view, what they do is they do a circle. And then they do the oval on the side of the head. And then sometimes what they do is they chop off the other side. Okay. Um, you can do it this way, but the problem is you have to be careful. You start off the circle first, the horizontal line. Then you indicate where the width of the circle which is the plane on the side of the head. You see, to me, that's more better. Okay. And then sometimes I've seen people do stuff like this. They, they start the head by, from the side here, they don't use the vertical line. Then they start the jaw. And yeah, that could be a shortcut. But you got to be careful if you're going to do it this way. Remember that a three quarter view has to do with perspective when the face is looking on the side. So, where would be the center of the face? Right here, see? So, you got to be careful with this if you're going to do it this way. Okay. Now, there's a book here that I want to show you that has the Loomis method. Okay, so let's just say the original Loomis method, they start pretty much with the access line. Okay, that's the way you're supposed to do it. Horizontal line, you detect where the access line is. Sometimes you might want to go around like this, around the circle, and then detect where that oval is for the side plane of the head. Okay? And then right here would be the vertical line. And then you do the nose line, the hair line, the chin line. And then right here you're going to cut this off because that's where the ear line is going to be at okay and you always got to remember that the head of and I will show you because a lot of people get confused with that and I just want to make sure that you get the idea of this and of course everybody has their own way of doing the Loomis method so here's a page here and I'm going to show you several things of the Loomis method. How um, you see, this is another way of doing the Loomis method. They they slice off a bit here, then after that they slice right here. This will be the side of the face. All right. But I have a problem with this. The problem with this is that um, 
usually Loomis doesn't do it all the way down to the circle. Okay. The way Loomis does it is the circle first, the horizontal line, and you he detects where the center of the face is going to be at. That would be the vertical line for the center of the face. And then what Loomis is, what he does is he indicates the width of the features, which the hairline, we already know that this is the eyebrow line, and this is the nose line, and this is the chin line. And then this would be the side plane right here. Okay. And then here's the ear line. And then he chops off one side, the, the other side of the circle. Now, I think this is more, more better. And let me show you in figure drawing for what it's worth. He's got that segment. And you can see it very clearly the way he does the... Uh, when he slices off the uh, the side of the head, which is the plane of the head. Because the reality is that even Loomis is very tricky because there are some segments that he's done, which I'll show you right now, that doesn't really chop off that side of the head. You see? Here he chops it off. Then right here he doesn't chop it off. But he does do the shape of the head correctly the way it's supposed to be. And you got to be careful with that because if you're not going to chop off the side of the head, you you got to do at least the contour of the side of the face correctly. Okay? The proper way. Now, Loomis, he always starts with, you know, pretty much with the guidelines and he figures out where the nose line is, the chin line, just like I just did right now. And then he cuts off the ear line right here. So you got to be very, very careful um, when you're doing the three-quarter view. Now, most of the artists that I've seen that kind of do it this way, the front view, they actually use the cross because that's the way it's supposed to be, the cross. Some people actually, when they do the front view, they'll do something like this. They don't do the vertical line. They just figure out where the eyebrow line is, the hair line, the nose, the chin. Then after that, they do just one line straight down like that. And then they do pretty much like in one of the Loomis books in Fun with a Pencil, which is called sort of like the ellipse. Now, you got to be careful when you, you know, um, when you chop off the circle, right, and you're going to do the ellipse, you don't want to make that ellipse too big. You have to find pretty much where the temple lines are. Then you do the ellipse like that, see? You find the temple lines then you do the ellipse okay i saw another guy that kind of like really um he did it a little bit different uh which i'm going to show you right now when you're doing the front view and there's like several ways believe it or not using the loomis method um how to do the front view just like the, the three-quarter view Okay, and I think this week we're going to analyze more of Loomis because uh, I see so many people getting it wrong. Um, so here's the nose line and here's the chin line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to detect where the temple line is. And then the, the line where you chop off the circle. When you chop off that circle, 
then you're going to do the ellipse. Same thing over here. You're going to find, and you got to make sure it's even. You got to be careful with this technique. You got to make sure it's even here and even here. So it's about here. And then you, this is where you're going to slice. And then you slice. Okay. And then you do the ellipse. When you do that, that's when you start, you know, doing the, uh, the shape of the face. And then the eyebrow, start with the nose first. And when you do the eyebrow, what you're going to find yourself is that half of the eyebrow is going to come out this way. Okay, and then the eyes are right around here. That's the thing with the Loomis method. You have to be very, very careful because people do it very differently when it comes to the Loomis method. Okay, so here, if you look at this page, um, I don't know if you can see that clear, but you can see... Um, some people will start the square shape and then they do the, the ellipse and you can do it also. Now he did more like a shortcut. He did the ellipse. What I would do is if I were to do this technique, I would probably use the square shape and then do the ellipse, like the curve that you see here. The only thing here that I don't like, and most people I've seen on YouTube do this, is that they erase the circle and I think you should leave the circle because that way when you leave the circle you get to see where the ears actually get placed for example if I were to do that and I, I know in inking is going to be a little bit difficult but it's going to be more easier to see now I'm going to try to get the precise way of doing this. So I'm doing like a, a square shape. And right here would be the chin. So we all know that here's going to be the, uh, the hairline, sorry. And then here's going to be the eyebrow and the nose and the chin line. Okay. So on this one, what you're going to do is you're going to do the ellipse. So I'm doing sort of the same thing that this guy is doing. The only thing with this is that you got to be careful with this because when you start, you know, doing the nose and everything, everything should line up and well proportioned, the nose, the eyes and everything. So instead of doing that other curve that goes here, and that's the confusing part. Start doing the jaw first. Okay. And then the ears will go here, right where the circle is, you see? That's why it's better not to erase the circle. And then you're going to see pretty much the shape of the face take form. Now, let's look at the way he did the eyes here. So, when you do the eyes, you got to be careful because the eyes are not where the ellipse is. Okay? And this is a little bit different. This is a different technique. And I'm going to show you a better way, which I think Loomis actually, you know, um, shows us so the eye width would be around here and then when you do the eyebrows they sort of like come out here see 
like half of it. Remember that what you're seeing here is something like, here's the eyebrow. And you know the eyebrow has two shapes. So you got to remember that this would be the corner of the eyebrow. Okay. And then the eye falls right around here. Now, there are a lot of ways of, of doing this. And I've noticed that people have been using the Loomis method in so many ways that it's just amazing. And I'm going to show you another one here from this book. Um, this book is Step-by-Step uh, -step Portraits uh, from Simple Shapes by Sin Artie. And uh, he uses the Loomis method when he does the um, front view. Practically many of the pages here are Loomis method. And he did a fantastic drawing here of Norman uh, Freeman, great actor. And um, you can see he started off the box in order to get a, a perfect circle. And then he indicates with guidelines. He started adding the guidelines. I don't know why he did the X. Maybe, probably, when he did the square shape. Um, yeah, he did the square shape first. And then after that, he did the X. I think that the reason why he did the X is just to get a, a perfect circle. And you could do it that way if you want. Remember what I said, that if you have trouble doing a circle, um, you can use a cross. But this is a practical way if you want to do it this way, using the square shape. And you can do the circle. Um, after he did the X and he did the circle, then notice right here, he did an oval shape and this form I saw this by Loomis which I did right here you see Loomis does something like that like it's sort of like a curve line and your best bet is to do it this way is to see the egg shape inside the circle okay you don't have to like do this. This is separate. See, this is a separate. This is just an example I was doing. Okay. And, uh, you know, when you're, when you're working with the Loomis method, it's like you're, you're using a lot of science to it. It's like, um, you're sort of like analyzing the Loomis method. Here's another one that you can do pretty much. This is in one of the Loomis books, which I started practicing. And then I started using the center line first, like that. And then I indicated the eye width. Okay, so that's pretty much how you could actually tackle uh, the Loomis method. And you can do it this way. You can do it the way... Um, this guy did uh, Norman Freeman. And uh, there's a lot of ways of doing the Loomis method. Um, you could start from the center of the face like I did here on this page. You can start from the center of the face and then you work with the planes afterwards, you see? And when you do the planes, you see I did it here and then here I did the shape of the face, you see? And it's almost like I did on, on this one right here. You see the comparison? So I want you guys to analyze this really good and pay attention because the Loomis method, um, of course, yeah, you can change it in many ways, but you gotta be careful. You wanna make it, sh you, make, you gotta make sure that it's that it actually stays right. That's the right proportion of the face, okay? So here what I did was I indicated the nose line here first. Then I indicated the eye width right here. And then after that, 
I did the planes just like the way Loomis does in fun with a pencil and uh, this technique here actually came from I'll show you right now because I like to show the, uh, the comparison you know at least reference from one of his books that way you get an idea how um, this method is done. You see? You can tell he did the plane and it's sort of like a V shape. And remember, Loomis studied George Bridgman. George Bridgman actually used that technique. He uses the, uh, the diamond shape in the center of, of the face. Okay. This is pretty much what we're doing. We're actually working with, but of course, this is different faces and different shapes. And notice that the ellipse actually take different forms. Right here, it seems a little bit more, you know, regular. Okay. And then right here is a little bit in, um, and it actually connects with the eyebrow. So you got to be careful when you're using the ellipse on um, the Loomis method. Okay, so let's practice some of this stuff here. And let's put these books away because they're in the way. And then tomorrow, we're going to focus on drawing children. So first, we're going to start with this one. And we're going to get a darker pencil. That way, you can see it more better. So since I'm practical, I know how to do a circle. I don't have to, you know, do the, uh, the square shape. And I'll do a quick one here, the square shape, the X, then you do the circle inside the square shape, like that. And then you get a perfect circle. But those are for like people that have trouble doing circles. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is the center, horizontal line for the center. So in a way, I'm doing a cross. Okay, then I indicate where my hairline is going to be, where my nose line is going to be and where my chin is going to be. And remember, even when you do it this way, you're still visualizing the square shape in the center of the circle, right? Everything has to do with visual effect. Now, I'm going to do what Loomis does. He does a curve here, and then another curve here. And I make sure it's even on both sides. See? Now, all this would actually um, transform into an egg shape. Okay. The mouth line would be here. Now, before I do the planes, I'm not going to do the planes first. I'm going to indicate the features first. Like, I will start with the nose. Here's my eye line. From the corner of the nose, I go up. Indicate the mabella, which is a keystone. Okay. 
Then I indicate another eye, another, not another eye with the, the other side of the eye. But before I do that, I could visualize the center line. That'll give me a perfect width of the eye. I could do that, or I could easily do from the corner a circle. And that would give me a better understanding of the width of the eye. So I could do it that way if I want. Now, once I have that, now I could work pretty much like in the Loomis books, the plane, which would start around here and it goes out here and it goes in here. See? Sort of like that. And if you look at um, pretty much how he does, but it depends on the on the type of face that you're drawing. That's why you always need to look at different reference. How the face is done. So that's what you're going to do. And you find the key points to the face. You start shaping the face. Remember that the neck is from the width of the corner of the eyes, especially when it comes to women. You always got to remember that the ears are on the same level where the nose is. And then the, it actually stays, maybe the other side might be a little bit. And little by little, you just pick up your drawing and, and you see if the proportions are right. Because unfortunately, I don't have a drafting table that actually folds up. So I have to work <laughs> drawing down. And you got a face right there, see? Little by little. Center the, the face is... Um, and we're going to work with more techniques tomorrow unfortunately i gotta work tonight so um tomorrow is another day another day in paradise and the hairline kind of like goes in like that So like I said, you know, I've seen a lot of um, 
you know, tutorials that they, they work with the Loomis method. Um, and I think um, they're getting it kind of like wrong. Some of them, they get it right. Um, but hopefully this will help you out. Okay, so now we're going to do it the way this guy did it. Not like Loomis, but the way this guy did it. Now, the way this guy did it, and I'm going to give you an understanding how he did this. Uh, notice that after he does the, um, the oval shape, of course, yes, he indicates where the nose is and everything um, by starting with the nose uh, width. But remember that uh, Norman Freeman, he has a big nose uh, because he's African. So African people have big noses. So, but the eyes, you can see he brings it in. And if you look at a, his regular picture on the front page, you see that the width of the nose it's right near where the center of the eye because that's usually the African origin. You know, African people have big noses and, you know, when it comes to white Caucasian people, the noses are more smaller, Nordic. So these are things you have to look out for. But I'm using the same technique Um but I'm not going to draw him. I, I'm usually going to draw like uh, a Loomis uh, female, the way Loomis draw the females, because I, I like to draw women. And uh, so let's do it the way this guy did it. Again, I'm not going to use, supposedly you could use the box shape to do the circle with the X, which is actually going to help you out. But since I'm already practical, um, I can do a circle very easily. Maybe when I was a kid, I didn't know how to do a good circle. But you see, when I was a kid, I didn't know any of this stuff. I would just draw a face <laughs> like using either, I don't know, like just starting with the eyes and nose and 